welcome to another video and today we are doing an ink test using a glass dip pen but before anything else may i invite you to click subscribe turn on notifications and perhaps give this video a thumbs up today i am sharing with you the newest ink collection by fairies wheel press the colors for this collection aims to capture that springtime in ontario so let me show you each color one by one and this one is the first one that i'm showing you on screen is actually my favorite it's called april showers so like the velvet pouch that came in this ink has more or less that same color or that same hue so the packaging kind of reflects what the color of the ink would be like this one this is morningside mint it has of course that touch of green and the third one is called Madame Mulberry and it has that light purple or light violet going on. The packaging is just so beautiful. If you want to see the unboxing, I have a full video on Instagram. I'll put the link down below. To showcase the beauty of the colors of this ink collection, I am using this glass dip pen which I recently got for myself i'll put the link down below in case you want to get one for yourself as well it's actually called unicorn and it comes with a glass pen rest as well this dip pen is a recent purchase and i'm just getting myself acquainted with its whole process and how to use it and everything i actually watched a couple of youtube videos and i found the one by nancy hullen i'll put the link down below that one was the most helpful it just gave me all the basics i needed to know about using glass dip pens so this is the first color april showers i will tell you up front that this one is my favorite amongst all the three colors it has that gray sheen to it but it's not black and the thing that i love about it the most is that because it has that great tint to it you can play around with the different hues and it gives you like a faded effect and it doesn't just give you a flat sort of render when you use the ink on the sheet so one of the things I learned from Nancy on how to use your glass dip pen is, of course, to clean the tip when you're changing colors. Notice how satisfying it is when the ink separates on the water. After cleaning the tip of the pen, I just use a tissue to clean off any excess residue of the ink on the dip pen. So friends, I am not a calligrapher of any sorts. I mean, I ventured into the world of calligraphy. I actually attended classes and workshops before, but I never really like took it seriously, like to a different expert level. I have I'm just a hobbyist. So anyway, let's continue on with the rest of the ink showcase and enough of my excuses here we have the green one morning side mint this color is just divine it's not i don't know it's not really like your regular kind of green it's not even blue green but it's the kind of green that's subdued but makes an impression i don't know if that makes sense but that's kind of like the impression that I get from this collection of colors. So as you can see, this ink is more vibrant. I think amongst the three, this is the color that will really pop out of the page if you're going to use it on your journals. So if you're the kind of person wanting to add like accents and stuff on your journals, I think this is the color that you should go for if you're just purchasing one of the colors in this collection. Another learning of mine with using glass dip pens is to not, this is a personal learning, but not to dip the whole 
head of the pen onto the ink especially if you're wanting to change colors at some point because you end up wasting ink it, if you wash wash out every other line or so so i just dip it like midway or maybe even just a tip sometimes especially if i want to change colors for every letter anyway here we have the third color madame mulberry and i think this color is the one that gives the most springtime feel to it you think i'd say it's the green one but i guess when you think of spring i personally think of flowers and fruits and this subtle purple it's not even it's like light purple with a tinge of gray to it that's why i love it as well so to me if this particular ink had color it would smell of berries and raspberries and stuff but it doesn't have any smell but that's the kind of feeling that i'm getting from this color so here is a frozen shot of all three inks side by side if i were to pick a favorite i'd say april showers just because i think i would use this one more but as you can see all three colors complement each other and i'm pretty sure that they're awesome as standalone colors as well so going back to the dip pen i actually used it with these inks with writing text and also with drawing and what i can really say about this pen is that it is just like your regular pen it is just like it writes just as well but the only difference is the grip it takes some getting used to the weight of the pen and the tip of the pen and also when you're using this dip pen you have to be aware of the amount of ink on the head of the pen the line weight changes you have to be aware of that because when the ink runs out or is about to run out the line weight of the pen tends to be thinner and when it's just been recently dipped it tends to be thicker so you have to be aware of that overall my experience with the inks that you have just seen and the glass dip pen was positive and of course i will be using these inks on my fountain pens as well because using it with the fountain pen it just gives me more versatility and it's easier to use it when it's in a cartridge instead of fountain pen and if it's with a glass dip pen i will need more care and there is more art and mindfulness that is necessary when using it anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video and making it through till the end i'll see you in the next one enjoy the rest of your weekend bye